Terry Ragland, the Early Childhood Education Program Director here at Gladden Community House. Welcome Mayor Coleman, Council President Ginther, Superintendent Good, and all of you here today. Investing early allows us to sh shape the future. Investing later chains us to fixing missed opportunities of the past. That's James Heckman, economist and Nobel laureate on economic inequalities and the value of early childhood education. We're excited to be a part of Early Start Columbus and proud that Columbus is joining a leading group of cities in creating a preschool initiative. Gladden Community House has been serving the Franklinton area for more than a century. Our preschool program has achieved national accreditation and we've been making early learning experiences available and accessible since 1979. Early Start Columbus is Mason's Early Start. We see every day what a difference high quality early childhood education makes here at Gladden. I believe children will be what they see. And today, they see our leadership. They will be the benefit of the works of our hands working together. In high quality early learning programs, each child acquires foundational skills in literacy and mathematics, but also in application of character, integrity, and responsibility, all key in the development of a good work ethic. Being the line leader really is a big deal. Parents leave our programs for work, school, or training with confidence knowing that their children are safe and receiving the best learning and development experience possible. We know too many families that would like to have these opportunities, but who miss out. As a program director, I'm responsible for enrollment and many other activities to make sure that children have the, response, have the, act, the ability to be in a quality program. One of my responsibilities is to, is to determine eligibility based on their income. Just last week, Stephanie, one of our parents, was informed after a very long wait that she was over income by $73 more a month. That's $880 more a year. And we all know that in the city of Columbus, the ad average annual cost of tuition is $10,000. 880, 10,000, you do the math. As I said, Early Start Columbus is Mason's Early Start. It's Brindley's Early Start. It's Cammie's Early Start. It's Victor's Early Start. Thank you, Mayor Coleman. Thank you, Council President. We do appreciate your leadership. This is a once in a lifetime chance for quality early education for children to have access to. As my grandmother would say, when you know better, you do better. And together today, I can say that we are doing better. I'm excited that our city is prioritizing young children, and I look forward to working with you, Mayor Coleman, and all the partners that you've assembled to give our children the best early start possible for them and for Columbus. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Terry, and uh, it's glad to be back at Gladden Community House. And, and here we have uh, on my right, Ronnie. Raise your hand, Ronnie. There you go. And Sanaya. All right. Good to see you both. Uh, and so glad to be here. Uh, Gladden Community House has done a phenomenal job in so many uh, aspects of community life in the city of Columbus, and we're grateful for them. Today is a milestone in the city of Columbus, for today represents the beginning of a journey, and but just a beginning, a first step. Our, desti our destination in this journey and our goal is to achieve pre-K affordability and opportunity for every four-year-old child in Columbus. That is our goal, all children, regardless of that line called the poverty line or any other line. 
So that's what you call a pre-K, I'm sorry, universal pre-K opportunity. And that means that children under the official poverty line are not on waiting lists for pre-K because there's not enough Head Start money. And that also means that children who are just above the official poverty line don't get uh, 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 penalized because they work. And so when our young kids enter kindergarten prepared to learn, they are prepared for the rest of their lives. Unfortunately, 34% of Columbus City school children enter kindergarten unprepared, and almost 60% of our third graders are not ready to pass the state's third grade reading guarantee. This requires them to repeat the third grade. And when they fail to read at a third grade level, children will already be behind before they get started in life. You see, 85% of a child's brain development takes place by the age of five. And young children exposed of high quality education settings exhibit better language and mathematics skills, better social skills, and better relationships with peers in their classroom. And so all that means is that education needs to start earlier. Many cities and states get that. In Denver, 90% of children who participate in preschool are prepared for kindergarten. In Tennessee, students who attend a state-funded preschool scored 82% better on early reading and math skills, uh, uh, more than those who did not. And even in the state of Georgia, 82% of pre-K kids, pre kids scored higher on third grade reading. That's why when the Columbus Education Commission came together uh, over the course of last year, they made a recommendation, and we're following that recommendation beginning today, and that is to extend uh, a quality early childhood education to four-year-olds. And today's just, just a first step. It is not the end, it's the beginning. And so that's why working together with our outstanding partners on city council, uh, council member Paley is here, council member Craig is here, council member Tyson is here, uh, we allocated $5 million in our 2014 budget for a brand new program. And that brand new program was called Early Start Columbus to provide quality preschool education in the coming school year. So today we launched this program working with nine organizations to provide early childhood education in 14 quality pre-K centers. In addition to Columbus City Schools, uh, and, and they're represented here by uh, uh, Byron Stewart and Mike Cole, as well as other uh, uh, folks in, in Columbus City Schools. We're grateful for them as well. And we'll be identifying nine elementary schools. They will be identifying nine ele elementary schools that can also host early start programs. In this first phase, and I just want to emphasize again, because it's not always represented accurately, this is the beginning, not the end. This is the first phase, not the only phase of early start. We will extend early childhood education to between 350 to 400 children through nine quality pre-K providers. Those providers are Central Community House, Child Development Council of Franklin County, which is providing four different locations, the uh, Tyree Learning Center, Ohio Avenue St. Agnes, Columbus uh, Early Learning Center, Gladden Community House, Heavenly Kids, Millbrook Nursery and Kindergarten, Southside Learning and Development Center, Starting Point, and YMCA, which is providing uh, three locations. What's important about all these organizations is they reach a segment of our population that has fallen through the cracks. Those families bringing in just enough income to lose eligibility for assistance, but bringing in too little income to truly provide for all their needs, including early childhood education. Quality pre-K is essential to children, families, and communities and our entire economy. Yet many families in low-wage jobs are without access to early childhood education. 
as the family earnings increase and they rise above the official poverty line, it loses eligibility for child care subsidies, which are available, even though that family is not yet truly self-sufficient. So today's announcement is a big step, but not the only step. It's the first step uh, to ensuring that every child, every child in the city receives pre-K opportunities. And I want to thank our staff and our new director of education, Rhonda Johnson, uh, who was here today. If you could stand, Rhonda, director. So again, our goal, and I just want to reemphasize this so that every person in the audience understands this, all of you, our goal is to have universal access to pre-education for every four-year-olds in Columbus. Today is only, thank you. That's our goal. But we can't reach that goal alone. It's going to take many more steps a whole lot of partners coming together, and we have to work with the business community, the faith community, the federal government, the state government, education communities to come together. And rather than wait for all of that to have come together, we decided to begin closing the gaps now with this effort. And over time, we will work together to make sure that every kid, every kid, gets this opportunity. And so we'll work with all those uh, sectors of our economy to come together uh, for the long-term pre-K approach. And uh, we need our kids to be ready. Be ready for that third grade reading guarantee and to be ready for life and to, to be ready to succeed. And we cannot do this in city government without two things coming together. One is a great city council. Two is a Columbus City uh, school board. And the third part is a Columbus City schools. Everybody working together towards this end because this has never been done in the city of Columbus. Never been done and we're doing it, and we're taking that challenge and we're moving forward. So we need a city council president to help lead this effort, and this president of city council has been by my side in advising us all along the way, and I'm grateful for his leadership. And so I ask city council president Andy Ginther to come forward and say a few words. Good morning, uh, and before I get started, I want all these little people to give themselves a round of applause. All right, little people, little people. I've got a uh, little girl just about your age, and you guys are being uh, fantastic this morning and putting up with us adults talking for probably too long. But uh, let me just say a few things, because this is all about you in your friends, uh, in your neighborhoods throughout the city. As the mayor said, uh, this is a great day for the city of Columbus, Columbus City Schools, and children and families in our community. When Mayor Coleman and I created the Columbus Education Commission, we committed the city to a more active role in the education of our children. That is a promise we must keep. Today, we're honoring that commitment that we made to our children, but also to their parents and to their teachers. One of the Education Commission's recommendations was that we provide quality early childhood education to four-year-olds. Our children need to enter kindergarten prepared, ready to learn. Ready to learn in kindergarten means that our children will be better prepared to learn for the rest of their lives. And as the mayor mentioned, unfortunately, a third of our school children in Columbus City Schools do not enter kindergarten prepared, ready to learn. And if we haven't prepared our children for success, then collectively, what have we prepared them for? 
few years after kindergarten, some 60 percent of our third graders are not able to pass the state's third grade reading guarantee. When we allow our children to fall behind like this, we waste their enormous potential and betray the sacred trust that they have placed in us. Other communities across the country have figured this out. Now it is time for Columbus to do the same. Early Start Columbus will support early childhood development and access to pre-kindergarten services, but we won't stop there. We will support our children all the way through the crucial early years of their education, particularly if we are to help them meet the new requirements of the third grade reading guarantee. The work ahead of us is difficult. It will require our full commitment and a tremendous amount of partnership. And I'm so pleased today to see uh, at least two members from the Columbus Education Commission, Lois Carson, who's the president of the CSEA, Council Member Tyson, uh, who chairs the Finance Committee, as well as the Health and Human Services Committee and Workforce Development Committee. Uh, we are uh, uh, without the Education Chair of City Council, Council Member Michelle, Michelle Mills, but she's running a settlement house in another neighborhood in Columbus over in the Linden area, and so we know we have her strong support and leadership. The bottom line is our children are worth it. If we don't invest in them, then all the other important investments we make in this community will come to nothing. Thank you all for being here today. Thank you to the teachers, administrators, staff, and parents who will make this program a success. We're behind you 100 percent, and as the mayor committed today, we will not rest until every four-year-old in the city of Columbus has access to an early childhood education. Thank you. And we couldn't do this with an outstanding partner, a great reformer, our superintendent, Dr. Dan Good. Good morning. So, Sanaya would like you to see her fingernails. Sanaya, show us your fingernails. <laughs> and Ronnie asked if I would help him move the chair so we could just play basketball. <laughs> it's great. And Lois, thank you for being here and representing OPSI so well. It's always meaningful when you attend. Um, first, I extend the district's appreciation to all who came out today in support of this significant initiative to provide some of our city's youngest learners with their critical first steps on a lifelong journey of discovery and academic success. Columbus City Schools Board of Education, as the mayor said, is represented today by our vice president, Mr. Brian Stewart, and board member, Mr. Cole. <laughs> they extend their gratitude and congratulations. They, their colleagues, and I concur that the importance of providing high quality early learning opportunities to students, especially disadvantaged students, who would otherwise begin their school experience unprepared for kindergarten cannot be overstated. The Early Start Columbus Initiative and the community's access to early childhood learning is important for many reasons. As we all know, Ohio adopted a third grade reading guarantee that mandates retention of third grade students who fail to earn a certain score on the Ohio Achievement Assessment. And while we can all agree on the urgency of ensuring our third graders are proficient, in the acquisition of those literacy skills by the end of third grade, the mandate doesn't come without serious challenges and potential consequences for our community. These consequences disproportionately impact minority and economically disadvantaged students. And although we do not yet know the results of the Ohio Achievement Assessment, the results from the fall administration demonstrated that we were in danger of retaining almost half of our district's third graders. When faced with that data, I called it a crisis, and I still believe that to be true. We must set high expectations early for our students and provide them and their families with the necessary resources to be successful. That's our responsibility. That's our true mandate. And there is, there is a positive correlation between kindergarten readiness and third grade reading achievement. Today, to meet that mandate, Columbus City Schools proudly stands alongside Mayor Michael Coleman and our community, a demonstration of partnership and leadership, and a timely one. 
since according to the most recent report from the National Institute for Early Education Research, Ohio ranks 39th in the country in providing access to early childhood learning for four-year-olds. Through our current state funding model, Ohio serves only a very small percentage of our state's four-year-olds. In the city, we understand the importance of early learning. The Early Start Columbus Initiative is yet another step, a positive step, in providing access to high-quality early education. Early learning sets the stage for students' future academic success. For disadvantaged students, the learning gaps begin before the students ever step through our doors and hear the school bell ring for the very first time. And that sound should signal the beginning of an exciting journey. As you can tell, the individual behind me believes as well. <laughs> that journey ignites the imagination and captures a student's love for learning at an early age. Learning is cumulative, and early learning supports later learning. And this is so crucial because students' interests and love for learning usually develop at a very early age. We owe it to our children to set them on their course prepared for success. So I am pleased, pleased to grow our partnership with the City of Columbus by announcing that we are collaborating to identify as many as nine district elementary school sites to provide space for city-sponsored preschool classes. We're not yet prepared to unveil the locations because we're still working with the new Director of Education from the Mayor's Office, Rhonda Johnson, and we'll be pairing schools with appropriate providers. But I am thrilled by the opportunity to expand access to preschool into more of our neighborhood schools, and this is just the beginning. We have much work to do to ensure access for all of our city's four-year-olds, but this is an important step to meeting our obligation to foster students' love for learning at an early age and ensure that they are prepared to go to college, find a career, serve in the military, or start their own business. Thank you, everyone, for supporting our city students and their families. And representing those families today, we have two parents of future preschoolers, um, Amber Thomas and Victoria Wheeler. Please welcome them to the podium. Hi, my name is Amber Thomas, and I'm a mother to six children. And um, my family has struggled over the years to find affordable, quality preschool for our kids. And today I am so excited about the Early Start Columbus program. It will allow me to go back to work with the confidence and peace of mind that now my little ones will have access to the quality early education that they deserve. Hi, my name is Victoria Wheeler. Thank you. I am a new teacher here at Gladden Community House Preschool. I am also a proud mother of three. I know the importance of children attending a pre-K program. In the past, my family qualified for subsidized child care programs, but when I happily accepted the position here, I no longer are qualified for any assistance. Um, as a teacher here, I only made $28 a month more than my previous job, and I didn't qualify for any help. The Mayor's Early Start program will help me afford to send both my girls to a quality program. As a teacher here, I have met many families that are hardworking and may make just a little over the poverty level but not enough to afford pre-K education on their own. Thank you for helping my family and others in similar situations. <laughs> 